good day guys um welcome to gds academy and our topic for today is limits of a function so yeah i'm going to be discussing what you are going to do whenever you are, you are faced with a question like this and the mistake most guys do make when they come across questions like this so let's start it from the number one which is the f of x is equals to x squared minus 9 and x minus 3 and we are told to limit x to what so i know that the first thing you guys are going to do is so let me make this mistake so that you guys can understand so no man no man this is what most of you guys will do 3 squared minus 9 then 3 minus 3 then we have zero number 0 this is totally wrong it is wrong to do it this way so let me so this is what to do find the solution the first step is to factorize this is x squared minus 3 squared x minus 3 so if you factorize this you have x what minus 3 in brackets s plus 3 then you have s minus 3 so what are i giving it because i'm trying to break it down to the simplest form first that's the first step then this will cancel this right and we have to limit x to what 3 so this is what we are left with x plus 3 so it's now be 3 plus 3 therefore our answer is 9 uh, this is our answer yeah. our answer is 9 goes to 9 goes to 1 solved because I know I wouldn't want to waste most of your time so as for this second one too we are told to limit grab the other part so can, you guys can give this a try before I solve it you can feel free to press pause and give this a try Okay, here's the solution. The same step. Once you factorize this, we are limiting this to 2, right? So once you factorize this, you'll be having, we have to save our time, you'll be having x minus 1. So once you factorize this, you'll be having what? x minus 2 in brackets, x plus 2. See, this will cancel out this. So you are left with what? You are left with s minus 1 and s plus 2. And you are told to limit what? x to what? 2. So it's not in 2 here. That will be 2 minus 1. The answer to this is 1 over 4. So this one is the last one I'll be doing for you today because of time. And I want you guys to go ahead and practice on your own too. Because that's the only way you can know it. So for this, you the first step here is to you find the rational you rationalize it. But this time around, we will be rationalizing the numerator, not the denominator. So this is what we do. Multiply this by square root of x squared plus four. Then this will be plus two. Remember this this the sign will change when you find the conjugate of both sides. Then x squared plus four. They're both in square plus two. So um, I've thought I thought you guys solved one time like that. So if you apply the rules of solve, yeah, this will give us the same thing, right? So that will be plus four in bracket. Then your minus sign will come. Then two times two is what four. But if you don't know how to get to this step, go back to my video on solve. And um, I've already explained it there. Or you try it on your own and you expand. You see I have back at this all over your x square in bracket square root of x plus 4 plus 2 so if you open this that will be x square plus 4 minus 4 then i left it out x square square root of x square plus 4 close brackets minus 2 so this will cancel this we are left with x square x square plus 4 minus 2 so what do you notice here x square cancel x square bam, bam. so we are left with what? 1 over square root of x square plus 4 minus 2 and we are told to limit it to what? 
we are close to limit x to zero right so that will be what oh sorry this is plus my bad that's plus so once we limit x to zero we'll be having one over square root of zero plus four plus two that is one over square root of four plus two and we all know that square root of four is two that is two plus two therefore our answer is one over four this is our final answer Today. and that's all for today so we'll be expecting i'll be expecting to see you guys in my next video so this is i want you guys to take this down and write it i want you guys to solve this um okay let's not forget let me add this to it you limit x to four they are one over x minus one over four over x minus four i want you guys to take this down too and tr give it a try so kindly like and subscribe to my channel to help us to help you guys better to solve more questions on this and can, I, can also share the video with your friends too thank you love you guys